Ah, okay. Hello, everyone. Roger here. We are back with another video of uh, uh, Survival Under Fire, Episode 3. <laughs> here for the moment, waiting to see if I can get my stuff. Interesting. All right. We are live. We are watching. Hello, everybody. My name is Badger Wild. I got the stream up so I can see all y'all's comments when you when you decide to talk to me. Um, so can't do this for very long because we are we are still technically playing the game, and the mod system it can still is still in play. We have a the start of a base beginning. We've got some defenses. We've got power running to it. Uh, I've also got my survival pod, which has been blasted all the heck today. We're going to try and get a conveyor run, a uh, a refinery run so we can get some of this metal picked up, this scrap iron, and turn it into something. And then uh, I'm going to try to upgrade this base with a couple of extra upgrades. One of those is going to be a drill of some type. So I can drill my way to victory, I guess is what you could say. So, anyway... Starting back on here. <laughs> yes. Life sucks on this planet right now. First things first. I have got to get... Um, this whole system going. So right now, I need steel plates. Do I have those? Pick my inventory. No, mostly what I've got is... Uh, regular weaponry. So we're going to need to... Start working here and get our hands on enough ore that I can make some extra steel plates and finish up that uh, tower up there because I don't want that getting shot down and losing power for some godforsaken reason. And of course, this is also the consideration of we are going to run into bad guys at some point who are just going to start shooting the place all up. That's the fun part about all this whole surviving out here in the middle of nowhere with just us. I would like to have some buddies at some point in time. I may get some of the big guys together. And we'll attempt to make this whole thing work out pretty good. But right now, I'm going to drill me a bunch of stone. And we got about three of those production. Let's take another. We're going to go up. I need like 300 of these. Because we're going to have to just start the... Oh, wow. Here comes a freaking sandstorm. Awesome. Now, what will happen here is I'm going to get the refinery up and running, which we need. And then we're going to attempt a drill, because once we get a center pivot drill done, which is what I like to call it, because where I live at is in Missouri, and it's farm country. <laughs> and one of the things that we have for irrigating crops is this thing called a center pivot. And we're going to do something pretty similar to that, but on a little bit uh, lower range scale. Oh, 
All right, let's pop back up here. Hopefully we don't have any more problems, but I need to get this thing done because I'm going to be attacked by more NPCs. And one of the things that's going to become a problem very quickly is not just all these guns here, but also the fact of as the NPCs show up and start attacking, I'm going to start running out of ammo real fast. And with the advanced assembler, I can take some of these ammunition cases that I've got, except for like the really rare stuff. And I can actually start taking it and putting it into... Uh... Let me see here. I can actually take it and start putting it into... Uh, making more ammunition around the bases. Actually, I could do some of that right now. Take some of the big main gun stuff that we've got and just disassemble it in the assembler. Actually, why am I doing this? I can do that right now. I've got crap tons of other stuff. Everything has power. What in God's name am I doing? Holy crap. I just realized I can actually take some of this stuff and get rid of it. Get rid of that. Yes. That in there. That in there. We will keep one of everything for this. Okay, I can't put that in there. Ah, uh, we'll put this in here as well. We'll throw this in here as well. That in there. That helps. And okay. That is an S10 mag. We'll throw that in there as well. Now, production. We can go to disassemble. Six. Yeah. All that will get disassembled into the assembler. Ah, that's what that's why I'm moving so dang slow. Now I can take a lot of this other stuff and get rid of it. And in here, at these uh, grinders in here, not that grinder, this grinder, and set it in there as well. And on production one, get rid of this, 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 and that. And that will start putting uh, materials back into our system, and we can use some of that scrap and stuff. And some of these other, this other stuff that we've got, to start powering up and building new uh, weapons and crap, or just increasing what we've already got. Yeah, many steel plates. Okay, I'm going to have to figure some stuff up, build some things. Hope to God we don't come under another attack. Anything here I could... I could take this stuff over here and disassemble it, maybe.
That's the best part here because All right, so once all this is done, I can start making the steel plates I need. And as the auto turret begins killing enemies off, I can take the uh, weapon system. I can just sit down and just let the auto turret do its job. And it'll probably just F everyone up. I got the ability right now. I might as well hop back down in this hole. Uh, this drill is so slow. <laughs> Once I get the new drill up and running, we're just going to keep building onto this until we get where we need to go. <sighs> It'll be fun. Then again, there's a possibility that we were glitching out in the last couple of last two episodes we've been playing and the system's not going to send any more problems. Though I'm probably jinxing the whole system right now and I'm fixing to get patty smacked here in about five seconds. Ah, fun times, fun times. Dang, nothing's come for me yet. Zod, the last time I played... This is getting out of hand. You need to get out of there, number one. You need to get out of there. Alright. All that's done. How much we got? 38. Like I said, with all this stuff. Oh, wow, that thing's really producing power. I wish I had a battery right now. But <clears throat> I'm really worried because if I get attacked before I get this whole thing built up, Oh boy, am I going to have some problems because if they hit those girders or those uh, steel sections up there that just steel grating, that's going to knock the whole thing down. And I'm going to have a whole lot of problems, a lot of problems, let me tell you. But we've got to get that finished up. We need all the steel plates we can get and weld up as much stuff as we can. Leaving it as grates right now. And, and by the way, this is probably a good time to mention. This is probably the direction Space Engineers is going to go, this type of live stream. Because one of the things Keen has been talking about, the developers at Keen have been talking about, is taking and putting uh, NPCs in here, friendly, neutral, and other NPCs. <laughs> wonder will they not show up if there's wind be nice if they don't oh dear god come on now Mmm. Mmm. This is about the moment I come under attack. Uh.
Oh, yep, knew it. Her just smoked a bunch of them. Ha <laughs> ha! It's much easier now with a frickin' turret. Let's see what we took out here. Oh, look. An angry little robot. Seen these guys before. Look around here a little bit. There's one over there. Thought I saw one. No? Don't tell me they despawned already. Yeah, they're far enough away they despawned before I could get to him. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Oh well. Eight. There we go. We'll let all this. All of that do that. About so 300 meters. Uh, still way too far to get anything out of. Bad guys and whatnot. Oh, God, it's one of these things. No, you stupid piece of crap. Got a gyroscope inside of it. If I could take it out. Stop rolling away from me. I can get you to roll towards me. That's it. Must I have to chase this thing down like this? Has no sensor, should be slowing down by now. That you ain't got, you don't have a sensor. Ah, uh, tossed me. There we go. Ah, frick. Why do you have to be such a pain in the butt? Why can't you just be normal? Oh, seriously. Well, that could have went better. Best part. We did get some freaking parts, though. Now we're just going to run back. 
Or I could fly. That's a possibility as well. Let's do it. Let's see. Oh, wow. We got a lot of good stuff. All right. Well, this the rest of the way up. <clears throat> Ow. That's another thing I got to figure out is I got to get some uh, ice at some point in time. Out here in the desert, man. I can get some freaking wind, I'm telling you that much. These stinking storms, dude, will make some wind. Look at that thing spin. This is awesome. While I'm at it, my drone doing here for my turret. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still at 10. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Over here. And let's attempt... What do I need for this? Hmm. Crap, I need four middle gate for, grade for a small cargo container. That's, that's in a large capacity, too. Just four. Do I have that? Have it here. I've got three on this. Check the whole system here. Oh. Found two guns I don't I haven't gotten rid of. I got three metal grids. I'm half tempted to rip apart one of these uh, atmospheric thrusters. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Right now, what I'm going to do. This stuff in here. I should have just enough stuff. Do production. What do I need for this? Uh, that. Nine. Boom. We set that right there. And then I need to... Weld this up as much as I can so it's got some health. Then number eight. What do I need for number eight? I need 120 steel plates. Can I do that? All right. Before we do that, let's uh, disassemble both of these. And then we'll assemble the rest of these plates up. Now with this, I should have enough stuff to just build this on up. Once I do that, I can then sell some of the excess materials we got, plus I can take the steel plates I've currently got that are messed up, put them into the deal. Hmm. Dang. Uh, like, I really need this done. 
Hmm. You put the refinery sideways like that so it doesn't get messed up by anything. All right, all I need is like six more motors. Like two motors, maybe. If I have that in here. I should have motors somewhere else, though. Just a f couple of more. Are you joking? All in the control seat. All right, to get this functional. I need one motor and just 20 more steel plates. All right, put that in there. Throw in that. Now, uh, this I'm not going to need too much of. Not going to need too much of this. I'll throw this stuff in here and disassemble it. Assembling time, folks. One, two, one, one, four, one, and one, two. That should get me enough <clears throat> materials that I can finish up this portion of it. And I still, I will still have good line of sight with that turret. Anything that comes in behind it, I can just lure it in. We've got most of the metal already welded up, so we need all this welded up like it's supposed to. And I'm leaving a space here so that I can put a cargo container eventually, because if I can, I can start just picking up stuff, rock out of here. I'll grab some of it now. And we can begin... Putting some of that to good use. Now, if I do that, and eventually we can get us a small drill going. Hmm. Which would be awesome, by the way. I will have the ability to pull large quantities of metal out of here. Plus, I can also grab all this steel laying on the ground and add it to my collection. All we need is like 20 more steel plates. That's it. I got 11. <laughs> Funny. Well, I'll take it. We don't even really need that much. Come on. Come on. Like 94, I need like, if I can get 10 steel plates, all I can get is two. Is it 94? Is it like, please be 98. I need one steel plate. You know what? Screw it. I know where I can get this steel plate from. All I need is one. Oh, give me a break. I need two. Ah, still need motors. All right, there we go. Thought I saw something. All right, you. Can you make me... iron all right back in the hole
Now, we're going to keep digging here until I can get this figured out. <laughs> also, the uh, live stream that I did on Twitch has now been put up on YouTube, those that are watching on Twitch. And uh, it's, currently it's up to about 19 views, which is not bad in my... Uh-oh. Where am I being shot at from? Where are we being shot at from? Stop that. Shoot at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. All I need you to do is get over here and range of this turret. Dang it, really? Yeah, come on. Thanks for the extra ammo, Jack Wad. Turret keeps shooting and killing things, but I don't get the opportunity to get it because it's all usually really far away. Wait a minute. There's one right there. Nice. <sighs> really? Wait, let me just boss this out of here. Uh, just doesn't want to end well. There. Uh, hopefully that won't go nowhere. That's why they came in out of nowhere. All right, I've also got a, a baddie over here. Let's um, let's chuck all this in here. So the turret can handle stuff all on one side. We just need more turrets. That's what we need right now. That in there. Put this in here. That in there. That in there. Uh, put that in there. We can disassemble all that later. Where'd he go? All right, he's right over here. I think that's another one. I think the turret took out a couple of robots. But this is good because the turret is doing very minimal uh, to all these turrets and just like taking them out of the equation. Yeah, look at that. Oh, God, no. Oh, shoot. I thought that was going to hurt a lot more than it did. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Let's head back over here real quick. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. Uh, Number one, all this in here. Yeah, look at that. Lots of goodies. Okay. Now, next part. I can do this one of two ways. I can All right. I can start disassembling a lot of this stuff and only building what I need. It's obviously better than what I don't need. Also, I've got uh blocks of stuff out here. I need to tone the range down a bit. Maybe, maybe not. 
thing's firing off at like 120 meters or like 300 meters out. Okay, we can now clean up the area around the uh, base. We can start picking up all that destroyed metal, all that scrap, throwing it into the refinery over here. Oh, it's just going to make life so much easier. Look at that, like 120 iron right there. All right, we got all that. Pick all this stuff up. Yeah, I think I got everything. All right, let's throw all this into the container here, or over here, at least. Oh, yeah, look at that. Starting with a nice amount of this stuff. Awesome. Now for the uh, basic assembler. We're going to put that into this assembly over here. Uh, yes, I know the stupidity of this. Okay, um, one. All right, get that up there. We're going to empty these out. That one. Okay, and there we go. All right, that will disassemble a lot of this into regular stuff. Get some more out of this thing. Ah, and raise up my health. Oh, yes, that's wonderful. It's just peachy. And wonderful, the robot raiders come out because then I can just smoke them like it's nothing. So here's the problem I'm running into at the moment. I can build a drill system and attach both ends of it uh, to this with a connector. I will still need some kind of... Uh, some kind of... Means of building a, either a container at some point in time, like a small cargo container. This is, mind you, this this system right here is is wholly temporary. This is just to start the next level of base building, which is our industrial assemblers, our advanced assemblers, our power generation system. We're going to need a nice power generating system for the base. Fortunately, the wind will constantly be working, and I'll also supplement that with a couple of solar panels. Mm. Mm, water. So, I think the best thing we can do right now is just build a drill. A cheap one that I can uh, build the piping and everything to. In order to get that done, though, we are first going to have to connect this crap. I don't have any piping. The piping at. Well, I got all this. Piping. Okay, here's my pipes. I need to build... A cargo container. So I'm going to need one anyway. Isn't that interesting? Uh, 
unknown signal 3.9 kilometers out let's fly that way a little bit Ooh, that is some distance my jetpack is holding though Yeah, we're probably going to walk the rest of the way. Because I'm probably going to need the jetpack for everything else. So, <clears throat> the base will be fine. It's got uh, guns and weapons in there. It's got a gun on it. Not guns and weapons. It's got a gun. So, that'll be good. That system will be perfectly fine. What we're going to do is we're going to head out here to this unknown signal. A few kilometers out. This I'm gonna be in trouble if I run out here and run into any problems because good boy I don't have the firepower I'm probably just gonna to have to run and just drag them anything that I run into I'm just gonna to have to weld grind this thing down take what I can get as quick as I can and then run all the way back to the base and hope the auto turret can take care of business but right now we've already got a bunch of magnesium everything is powered so that's not going to turn off the one thing we got to worry about is when things get when things lose power they tend to turn off that's what we need to worry about not happening that shouldn't be a problem though uh, all right the plan is to get to the stars all the beautiful stars up there folks the mars look at the alien planet look at that little planet out there we're going to all those. Those are different seasons. That's, that's where we're eventually going. Wonderful places. Right now, I got to run all the way to this unknown signal and hope to God that when I get there, nothing's going to try and kill me. And I can see it. I got five minutes to get there, but I'll, I'll easily get there. Get a full battery, half a tank of hydrogen. We're good. As long as it's not a ball and decides to go running for the hills. Looks like it's not. Wonderful. No one's shooting at me right now. Flip this thing over here. Got some zebra boots. Cool, got some power couplings. Let's grind this thing the rest of the way down, folks. Wish this big medium cargo container had some metal grids. That'd be nice. All right. Thirty, twenty-three, twenty, sixteen, nine, five, one. Ooh, ooh. Okay, <laughs> we made it. We're all right. All right, we're good. Yeah, we just 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 broke a foot, couple of busted toenails. Nothing to be worried about. I run back to the tent base over here. I think with the primary base, I'm going to try and separate things into maybe fours or just have like a line of uh, wind, like a line wind farm going through the base. It'd be wonderful. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take what we've got right now. And we got to build a cargo container. We're going to cheese the system a bit. First off, we're going to heal up, get some hydrogen back. That's another thing. At some point in time, I got to figure out where some ice is because I got to go get some more hydrogen. So now, 
what we're going to do. I got to build cargo container anyway. I think I can get away. Small one. All right, got that finished. Now then, let's see what else we got unlocked. We should have conveyor junctions. Right, and we want a conveyor junction because... Okay, what do we need? Wait. Oh, that's for now. Build planner. If I can. Oh, it's not that. Okay, so I can't uh, use this. Can't use the build planner. Unfortunately. So what we need is one motor, 19 steel tubes, 13 construction components. What did I say? A motor, 19 steel tubes, 13 construction components. All right. Um... Re and a motor. I may already have that stuff, but I do have some of it already. Oh god, I need at least another steel tube. Seriously. Oh, whoa. We lighten up. Elvage, <laughs> that's what you want to call it. Maybe we can get those here in a minute. What the frick? Where's the guy the turret just killed? That's becoming a problem. Holy mother of yes. <laughs> okay. All right. This just ended well. Character weapons. We are going to solve us a problem today. I got an M60 and I ain't afraid to use it. Oh, this thing is all over the place. But it kills. Holy crap, that is awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Right, let's head back over here. Crap, they shot up the assembly. They shot up the refinery. Really? Still working? All right. Get it back up and running here. Uh, we're going to put the MR-20 in here. MR-50, because it's 
pretty worthless right now. I got an M60. I don't care. I got an M60. I got an M friggin' 60. <laughs> With nine magazines, of all things. We need another um, turret on the other side of the base. We're just, we're just going to need it. So we have full uh, defensive capability. Let's fly up here and look around. Oh, there's another one. A retard died. Now, what is this? This ain't a retard. Ooh. More precision accuracy rounds. That's nice. I didn't know he was there. Oh, it was a couple dudes and a robot came after me. Ran here, see if I see any other things that should be looked into. Oh, this guy over here. Okay, so now we have an M60. <laughs> okay, so we've got a gun. I right, got a gun. I gotta start naming this stuff differently on YouTube because it's just not doing it good. It's not doing it justice. The crap that I'm coming up with here. Ah, staking a claim, more like I got myself a nice M60 and a bunch of good guns. Yeah, screw them. These guys got destroyed. Thank you for all your crap, by the way. It's awesome. I can throw all that in there. Uh, take this MR20 mag. Put that in there with that. Oh, an M60 with about 900 rounds of ammunition. That just couldn't have went better. Okay, I can't take that apart, so... See what this retard had on him. Oh, oh wow! Vision grinder. <laughs> That's going to replace this. Okay. This is turning out to be a good day. <laughs> All right, all components have been thrown in. I'm there. Uh, hmm. I'm not, yeah, I can't. I can't put any more stuff in there, so I'm going to have to disassemble some things. Production. Disassemble. Um, this, that. Those. Two of those. One of those. Uh, yeah, and that gives me more magnesium powder, which I can use to build other things. Let's stop here for a minute and think. What is the one thing we need on the other side of this base? If someone out there said we need another turret, you would be correct. Comes an unknown signal about four kilometers out. God, I need a over or something I can hop into and just drive out there and get to it. Okay. Let that tear that down. Our biggest concern right now is really let me let me get this other turret up and running. Cause I can get that up and running no time. Oh, it requires interior plate. No. I should. Why can I not withdraw the construction components? Tell me why.
Oh, come now. You're telling me I have nothing? Uh, I see what happened here. A room. Production thing. Um, can I get a hydrogen bottle? All right. Hmm. Amazing. Now, all we need about 10. If I can do 10 of these, we're golden. better problem. I'm going to have to use the storage on this uh, thing right here to store most of the stuff. There we go. I'm storing most of these guns. Um, I need to put this into the bottle system. She is refilled. I have a full hydrogen tank now. Now I just need one more thing done. Boom. Sucker has like nine turrets. Or nine rounds. Let's go, baby. Fortunately, I can just eat through some stuff. It looks like I got some ore around here, too. I could make some kind of... Oh, what can I call it? A rover with a cargo container in the back of it. And I can drive around here. Grabbing what I need most of the time. Didn't find anything. Did get 25 of these. Go to my character tools here. Take this new proficient grinder, which is like a level three. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to build a ice miner at some point so that I can fly up in the air and go get ice. Wherever that is on the planet. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good right now. We're doing pretty good. If we run into enemies this time, what is this over here? What is this? Ah, a whole, ast a whole rock full of nickel. Nice. I'll have to come over and look for these things and find all of it. I need to build a rover. Be the easiest thing to do. And I could go out and get some like rare minerals and stuff like that. Okay. Let's 
some components can't be put in. That's understandable. Ah, uh, hmm. What do I do next? <laughs> what do I do next? Need to actually disassemble all of this. Fine. Five, four, ten, two, and that. All right. I get rid of all this stuff real quick. Inventory. So now we're going to be stuck with nothing but a whole bunch of goodies. Got ammunition for these. Done. All that's in here. Not have to worry about it. Ah, it's a new day. We have two turrets lined up and ready to defend the current base. And I'm about reaching a point where I need to start building the drill. And what I want to do is I want to build the drill to a certain size and give it some large drill heads and just work down a bit. And then we're going to reset the drill system so that it's down lower. And then I'm going to build up a staircase system so that I can put both of the turrets on either side of this pillar and we can get a full 360 degree range out of the turrets. At that point, we'll build a platform and I can then modify this pod here because I've got four engines. This is enough to get this thing up off the ground. And with a good set of solar cells, we could create a solar powered um, flight system. If nothing else, I could also build at some point in time a rover. Combat has not been a problem. We're still jumping into something. This video is, uh, when this thing hits YouTube, it's not going to be the fight continues. It's going to be, I got myself an M60. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say I got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. It's going to be me mowing down that poor joker, that poor idiot engineer NPC that came that way. But yeah, I think next time we're going to put the gun turrets up top here. And we're going to work on expanding the base into what we need it to be. Uh, which is going to be a much bigger, tankier base that I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to then get some sort of small, I guess, capable unit that I could drive around out here in the desert and go find, you know, ores and then mine those ores. And then bring them back and drop them over here. And that would help out a lot. This little ship right here, though, is running at about half power. So we're going to have to put two solar panels on either side of it. In fact, we should do that right now. Oh, hey, I have a viewer. <laughs> yeah, we're about at the end of this. Oh, I'd like to mention something. You want to see the cool thing I got from an NPC? Say hello to my little friend, the American Made M60. Flies all over the place, but when you hit a bad guy with it, it definitely hurts. It's an awesome little gun. Oh, wow. We are lighting up bad guys all of a sudden. Two dudes showed up, and that one's dead in the water. Let's see what you have. Oh, nice. Thank you for all your stuff, man. Fly up here. What's what's over here? I don't see anything over there. We got waylaid right 
there. I'm telling you, these guys all have just grinders on them. Yeah, that's what they got. Mostly idiots with grinders. Oh, yeah, it shot. Two of them? That doesn't seem right. Huh. I guess it's only two of them. Anyway, there's an unknown signal there, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Now, what I need to do is, number one, put all this in here. Having two guns is a lot better. This has been a lot easier than the last couple of nights we've been playing, because the last couple of nights, holy crap, have we been getting our butts handed to us. Holy crap, have we been getting our butts handed to us. Having a couple of extra turrets has not been a bad deal. And they don't use that much. They will screw just by everything. Oh, that is close. I'm half tempted. Eh, I need to go get that. I need all the materials I can get. And I got a good amount of, of uh, cargo or uh, hydrogen in the tank. It won't take much. It's only like a kilometer and a half out. We'll go get that real quick before we go. I was going to leave, but, hmm, frick. For those that are wondering, by the way, the stream, I start the stream at like 10, between 10 and 11. I didn't get anything special. Okay, well, you're officially scrap metal. Thank you for all your scrap. Don't worry, all of this is going to be put to good use. Ooh. Gimme. How do I not get this? Ah, it's in here. There we go. All right, fly back to base here. But yeah, we may need to build a healer. Because the healer rover would work perfectly out here. It's just uh, getting it to work. But we're going to have to work on the base like a little bit at a time. So first things first. Actually, before I do anything, let's do this. Let's head over here. Yeah, that would be 10 o'clock Missouri time. <laughs> if you know what that means. Okay. There's that one. I have to put a few solar panels on this. I'll put two on here. That one. This one also. Normally I make some pretty good solar cell systems. I did one of one of the live streams I was doing where I was making all kinds of good stuff. Okay, I need... Those, what else? Eight of those. All right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need about eight solar cells, possibly. Arrived, so only made like a few of them. All right, we'll head over here and get the rest of our girders. We need like five more. Oops, that's not the place to get it from. Okay. 
Yeah, screw it. We'll do six. There. At least now this thing will get up off the ground and it'll fly again. Oh, hey, we missed some steel plating here. We're going to do some modifications eventually. We have the materials to do it. We can turn this thing into a proper ship and it'll move around pretty easily. Oh, whoa. I got to finish that one up too. Uh, let's see. How's the solar grid system working? Right now it's a one and a two. Ah, oh, there we go. It's at a two. And this monstrosity should be charging back up pretty shortly. I'll leave that just like it is for the moment. <clears throat> we'll fix up as much of this as we can. And who knows? Maybe we can rebuild some of this or maybe put a different cockpit in or something like that. This thing flies pretty good. I mean, for, for what it's got to do, it flies pretty decent. Four more engines on it to where I can control right, left, and forward would just be great. Well, we got that done. I think next time we're going to build just a very basic drill platform. Something I can just grab my drill and, and I can turn it on from here. We'll have to build an extra platform out, but once that's done and it starts going down and starts drilling this out and making us a nice little extra circle, I do want it of a certain size. So I'll have to build the drill first in how large I want it to be, and we're probably just going to drill forever until that thing reaches wherever it wants to go. And that's going to get us our basic materials, which is nickel, silicon, iron. Iron is something that we are in desperate need of right now. And I'm going to have to get it with this thing. That's going to require some tubing done to come out. Maybe right here, or just build the tubing up there. Come across and then set up our drills right here so they come kind of close, but not too close. And then let that just drill its way around and I'll build a platform around it so that as we're drilling, we can just pull this up, deconstruct it. It won't be too large. I want to be able to deconstruct it and add more pistons to it and then just piston my way down to wherever I want it to go. Um, halfway considering uh, some sort of timer block rig. That might be a good idea. <laughs> Screw around with timer blocks. Hmm. But that would take time. I think I want to go out 10 blocks with the drill. And we may just do the big drills because the big drills we'll be able to do more with and they'll get materials faster. On that note, I need to build some things um, some construction components with what I've currently got. After we get this whole drill system done, Let's check the drilling here. What does the drill look like? What does the drill look like? Uh, where's the drill? Drill. Big. And the drill does not require any kind of weird components or anything. So we're good on that front. Uh, and the single... What we're going to do right now is we're going to build a single piston. Where's our pistons at? Piston, piston, piston. Okay, there we go. There's our pistons. We're going to have to build a battery in order to get a piston. So we may just set everything up for a battery build. Do that. And with that, we would get access to all this extra stuff here. We also need to build a beacon at some point, get these uh, dishes and everything. And then it's just a matter of unlocking all the extra stuff and preparing to build uh, or starting with the next uh, set of stuff we're going to do. So we're going to have to put uh, a rover out at some point uh, to replace that. We need a landing platform for this thing because it's all electric. So we should be able to build some stuff. And I kind of want to build a 
attack chopper or an attack VTOL gunship small grid so that we can fly it out and engage any hostiles that are coming in. So if we come under attack, I can just go out and engage them because I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we are eventually going to get swamped by... Uh, Well, by uh, robots, eventually, because we got robot raider pods on top of everything else we have going on. It's not going to end well. But it's working out. I mean, it's working out. We're getting there. We're getting places. Things are getting done. I'm going to fill up my health and now my other stuff. And then... Yeah, this has been a, a, a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> getting ready. This... Whew. I halfway expect to get attacked again. This is actually the first in two episodes, two hours worth of gameplay. We are finally reaching a point where I, my heart is not jumping out of my chest the whole time, worried that I'm going to come under attack. I've got two turrets that'll do the job. And these two little turrets are perfect for what we're normally running into. And who knows, the NPCs may get upgraded at some point in time. We may get Reavers because I've heard those are fun to play with. By the way, I'm that's for when we get up into space and we're going to have to build some kind of space station up there to send materials from this place upward. And like I said, I want to build a large facility in which we'll have this large uh, drill, drilling downward, low profile, and then we'll have most of the facility blocking the way of anything trying to get in. We'll cover that up with armor and whatnot, and make it all look pretty. I plan on planning this thing out pretty decently. So anyway, uh, if you guys are watching me on Twitch right now and you just joined, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, but the stream is over. Okay, the stream is is over. I am sitting over here with my M60. And we are eventually going to get this into a nice position here eventually folks we're going to get from this point to somewhere else but if you're you're here now the stream is over i'm very sorry <laughs> but the stream you're in luck you're in luck you, you don't have to be a person who sits back and doesn't know what's going on either you can join me up at eight between not eight between 10 and 11 central america time or american central which is right around Missouri in the United States. Uh, and if you don't want to do that, you don't have time, you can look at the live stream on Twitch. I'm going to make those permanent so everybody can just get on and watch them on Twitch. And if you really want to look, you really want to help me out, you can become one of the 350 some odd subscribers I have on YouTube. And I will be putting these up here with the front, uh, slightly trimming them down a bit not taking out any of the action and you can watch them all on YouTube if you want. Uh, I'm putting this up on YouTube. Lots of people have already watched the first episode and it got for an hour long video. It got a lot more views than I thought it would. I was sitting there looking at that thinking, yeah, this is even at 300. We're going to get like maybe one or two. I got 19. Let me check here. Let me, let me go on here real quick and let me check to see how we're doing right now. Live. Uh, we're looking and we're no survival under fire episode one season one is at 23 views so a lot of people have been watching it um the plan is i'm going to keep doing this until we get to outer space and that's going to be the end of the season i also had to do a couple of ship reviews or a ship review at some point in time on, uh during this week and um yeah just having some fun eventually while we play this game i'm gonna have to break out a tank or something <laughs> and deal with uh, the the NPCs that are attacking us. But anyway, folks, I want to thank you guys for watching tonight. It's been uh, awesome. Uh, I know, I know, some of y'all probably, I know you probably got on here and you're like, ah, oh, man, I missed it. Well, here's the thing: you don't have to miss all of it. You can check out the other stuff. It helps me out as a creator, and uh, also. That, that's why I make these videos, so you guys can have something fun to watch. Because, let's be honest, the world's just a little too crazy right now. Uh, Y'all need some good escapism. This is it. Some dude surviving on an Earth-like planet trying to get off planet. 
while I'm being constantly attacked by robots, zombies, and the occasional pirate and raider. Yeah, fun times, fun times. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching Badger Wild. Signing out.